Hello everyone, Mark here from CNC Sourced. Today, I want to talk to you about color laser engraving and the different methods available for adding vibrant hues to your laser projects. Stick around until the end for an exclusive technique that will take your color laser engraving to the next level. There are a few ways to incorporate color when laser engraving. The most advanced is using a specialized MOPA fiber laser that can directly mark metals with various oxide colors through laser annealing. However, for most hobbyists, manually painting laser engravings through color filling or adding color powders will be the best option. These techniques work on almost any material. Let's start by looking at how you can use a MOPA fiber laser engraver to produce color marks on metals. MOPA stands for Master Oscillator Power Amplifier. This type of laser gives you more control over the laser beam's properties than traditional fiber lasers. By adjusting the pulse frequency and width, you can create different metal oxide colors on the material's surface. Stainless steel and titanium offer fantastic results with this technique. The laser doesn't actually engrave a cavity, it just stains the smooth metal surface. This is why it's referred to as laser marking or laser coloring rather than engraving when talking about this effect on metals. While color marking works incredibly well on metals, plastics don't undergo the same chemical transformations. You can slightly alter the original plastic color to lighter or darker shades, but not create a wide spectrum. If you want to color engraved wood, acrylic, glass, or other non-metals, Color filling gives you tons of creative options without requiring a specialty laser. All you need for this technique is paint and a steady hand. There are two methods for color filling engravings, using masking tape before lasering to reserve areas for painting or wiping paint across the finished piece and cleaning up the surface. The masking tape approach lets you lay down different colors in separate regions within your design. But the wiping technique is easier for adding color after the engraving is already complete. Just make sure to use paint that adheres well to your material, like acrylics for wood or special glass paints like vitrail or enamels. Once your laser engraving is finished, brush paint over the entire surface. Don't worry about spillage. Then use a soft cloth or paper towels to gently wipe across the top until no more paint comes away, leaving color just within the engraved grooves. You can also sand or solvent wash the surface to clean up any remaining paint residue. When done properly, color filling creates stunning artistic effects on detailed engravings, and it works on virtually any material. The third option is similar, but instead of liquid paints, you use laser-meltable powder coatings scattered across your engraving. With the right laser settings, you can selectively melt the powder into your design cavities alone, fusing it to the material. This powder method takes more effort since you'll need to place the workpiece back into the laser and be extremely precise when firing at just the engraved areas. So for most hobbyists, color filling tends to be preferred for its ease and flexibility. Now let's switch gears and talk about single color contrast techniques that utilize laser etching, charring effects, or ablation. Laser etching exposes the brighter subsurface of material, creating engraved designs that stand out against the original dark surface coloring. This works for an array of metals, wood, plastic, glass, and stone. You can also harness laser charring on materials like wood where the burn marks create legible darkening instead of blowing through entirely. This works for branding logos or identifiers onto final pieces. Ablation utilizes higher laser power to vaporize off coatings or surface layers, revealing the contrasting material underneath. This can remove paints, films, oxides, and more. So in summary, MOPA fiber laser color marking, manual color filling, powder coating, etching, charring, and ablation give you a range of options for adding color effects to laser projects. The key is choosing the right technique based on your material, desired results, artistic vision, and equipment capabilities. To learn more about applying these colorization methods and see full examples, check out our laser engraving blog. We go really in depth there with step-by-step -step instructions and tips. Thanks for watching today's laser engraving color overview. Let us know if you have any other questions in the comments. And as always, keep on creating.